Jonathan. Fighting poverty throughout Uganda and East Africa, empowering young people with the gospel of Jesus Christ, giving them dignity, freedom, peace, and hope through biblical principles. Uh, my name is Richard Sempala. I'm the founder and the CEO of Africa Life Youth Foundation. We thank God for the vision and the burden God has, has brought on hearts about uh, the young generation, the youth, and the children from, from the time of conception until they really get out of the stage of the youth. We thank God for that because the Lord has really planted that in our heart to reach out to a young generation, to be a voice for the voiceless. Uh, we registered our organization, Africa Life Foundation, and really recognized by the government of Uganda as an NGO. So when you register, uh, the government requires to have an office, a location, in order they have to come to evaluate what you're doing, the entity your books, and see, are you really doing the true, th the true work or mm -hmm. you're just pretending? Mm -hmm. So God gave us a grace to start, to, have, to start an organization, to register it and have an office here. But always have a challenge because we don't have permanent donors already donate to us every, every month. But we always face a challenge of paying the office rate. It's really every month we, can, we pay $250 every month of this office mm -hmm. but we really trust every day with every time in trusting God and God has been really faithful to give us money but as I speak now we really have a date for two months a date for two months to pay that means we need we, we are trusting God for 50, for 500 US dollar and calling to have 250 US dollar and we need to pay this money once not just in in mm -hmm. in, in, in bits so it's really a big problem that every month we need to carry this, we need to pay this. Um, but we know God, we serve a, a living God, we serve a true God that will give us strength and help us to provide these funds to cover the office. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Can you, do you mind, if you'd rather not, it's fine, uh, can you tell me very briefly the story of your interaction, the, the one I've been using in my messages with the man at the United Nations conference? Oh, yeah. If you don't mind, I'd like that yes. very much. Yes. Uh, one, one, one time in 2010, uh, it was in July, God gave me a chance to go in African Union Summit. Uh, this union uh, collects all the leaders, the president of Africa and all the leaders from the United States of America, all over the Europe, uh, they come to, they, came, they already gather every year to discuss political things and things concerning the, the, the people in the world. So I had a chance to go and he represent Africa Life Foundation in 2010 and one of that one I remember one one of the days uh, had sat with uh, one of the guy who works at the World Bank and this guy really asked me you young man what are you doing here he wasn't expecting me to be really part of this great 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 union of presidents then he asked me why are you doing here I told him you know what I'm here because of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and this guy turned to me and said, you man, we don't want Jesus Christ here. He said, we don't want to hear about him. You're not supposed to be here. I told him, you know what, we live, everyone needs Jesus Christ. And I'm here to defend the unborn children because Jesus Christ saved my heart and re brought the liberation of who a child is, that a child is a blessing from God. So I was so much surprised that if someone who has worked with the United Nations, someone who worked with the World Bank, can really minimize the greatness of our Lord Jesus Christ, can really doesn't have a feeling that Jesus Christ is needed. So my friends, the whole world needs, needs Jesus Christ. Me and you, God, if you allow God to use us, to, re to reach out to these people who are near us to know mm. who Jesus Christ is. Mm. People really need to know who Jesus Christ is. People really need to know that children are blessing from God and children are really planted in the wombs of our mothers by God himself, not Amen. by science, 100%, Amen. I deny that, it's not by science, it's by God who really implant those children in the wombs of their mothers. Yeah. Okay, Amen. my name is Dennis Josephat, uh, I'm a translator, I do translate the mission book from English to Swahili. Uh, 
I find it so interested uh, because I myself I learn a lot but these are some difficulties I find uh, during my work which could have made my work to be more easy. Uh, laptop is the first thing uh, because laptop if I could get my own laptop uh, which could uh, enable me to save and uh, store my files after translating them and uh, so, which is so that I, it can help me even to, to, to preach and to, to, to reach the people who I need of such a materials. It can help me to review maybe some materials which I kept them for a long time and they are so important and the people still need them. Uh, this one also could help me to, 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 to protect my work uh, because I will not have again a disturbance of going maybe to different cafes where I could find more viruses from my flash disk and they spoil my files uh, and again it could have helped me to do my work very fast because I would not have a need again of translating maybe and writing maybe on the paper first then I go to the internet cafe where I could use more money uh, but from this I think I can just translate directly to my computer and I'll just use like email to send them to the needed people so that they can publish them and again back to the society for more education. Mm -hmm. And right now what are you translating? Uh, by now I'm translating the book of Akon. Uh, this is the book uh, which I find it more interesting again. Uh, it uh, does, the, uh, does the birth control pills cause abortion? Yeah, it's, it's true it causes abortion and I myself have seen it whereby the ladies who get pregnant, uh, if they realize that the second to the third days they are pregnant, they always run to these pills and when they take, it's true, the, uh, the, the pregnancy goes out, hmm. I've discovered that. Uh, this book now, it has got a lot of science science words which are so so difficult now when they are so difficult like this and again uh, you find again I need a lot of time to go to internet cafe mm -hmm. uh, whereby again I will use a lot of money and a lot of researching and whereby I want the message which is here to be easy to reach to people whereby they can understand the real message so that it can help them that thank you, thank you, guys. Right. I need the, right. true, the true information. Let me say the called people, those who really preach the for gospel, they really hide what they really mean right. behind them. They right. come, we preach about Jesus Christ, but the core thing inside them yeah. is against Jesus Christ. Yeah. Give my point. So, so when we put this information into our local language, the, 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 the down person can come to really understand what real abortion is, what's mm -hmm. the control pills are. Ah, mm -hmm. Then it helps him or her to really understand that, oh, or is I've been in danger, or is a country has been in danger. Now it's the time to rise up and really speak the truth to save our country. Amen. Yeah. Can, can you introduce for us the, the lady, the sister here? Please. Yeah, this is uh, this is the sister I work with in Africa Life Foundation. She's called Noren. Uh, she's doing a nursing. She's been she finished the the, the, the the certificate. Now she's doing the diploma and finishing the, this coming November. This young sister of mine, uh, we plan to start up a pregnancy center next year, and I hope she'll be able because she has acquired a lot of skills mm -hmm. in nursing and maternal health care. So I hope she'll be able to lead our nursing. Uh, clinic uh, next starting next year, wow. but I'm so surprised that, that when she got a hold of the book, we are trying to start to to translate from English to Swahili, from English to Uganda, and from English to Kong to Congolese Lingala. She really just got the information that birth control pills are causing abortion. But mm -hmm. at the nursing school, they were not letting them to know that birth control pills can cause abortion. That's a big surprise. And mm -hmm. a lot of people, millions of people, that don't have this information. They don't have where to get the right information in order to stand against this. Now here she is, she can really say herself what she really she's doing. Thank you. As my brother said that I'm called Noli, to my surprise when I 
I've just read this book for a few minutes. Now I've come to realize that pills can cause abortion. Mm. Because for us, we've been telling clients, mothers, to use what? These pills. Mm. Because after birth, we told them that you go and take pills. There are those for which are taken during preparium and those after what? Preparium. Now I've come to realize that these things can cause abortion. For me, myself, I'll start telling them to use natural method because it can help. It is what? It can help them to do what? To avoid aborting. Oh. And I pray to God to help me to do it. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Sister. Because you? some things you can tell them to do to use natural method. They say that no, when I use natural method, I might end up getting what? Pregnant. Pregnant. But I'll convince them. I'm yeah. Oh, wow, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Now you you uh, uh, described to me a, a story a moment ago. I wonder if you could okay, tell that again. Okay, one day I got a client who came to me, mother. I was teaching a mother. I taught I taught her many different types of what family planning. Mm -hmm. Then the mother told me, of all, I don't like any because there in the village they told they tell us they cause what abortion. Then I explained because I didn't know the truth that they don't cause abortion. Mm. Then the mother told me, I'll come back next time. The mother never turned up mm. because she knew what was right. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, sister.